Okay, earlier I posted a picture on the YouTube, I don't know, community tab of what this boiler looked like. Whoops, there we go. We had a boiler in the corner there. We had pumps across here. You can see where all the pump relays were. So <clears throat> we took off all the pump relays. And plus we had right down here, we had a boiler mate or an indirect storage tank. So what we did is we took out everything. And instead of having everything, we have the Navian fire tube combi. This is an NFC 175. <clears throat> So we got it gassed. Tomorrow we're coming back and we're going to we're gonna put zone valves. Oh, there's our zone panel. We're gonna put the zone valves up here. We're gonna bring you know bring our piping over. I'm gonna have a pump over there on the wall. So this is gonna be a, like a two-day project. We have the venting come up off of there, over to there. So, this is my first time putting a fire tube combi in. This is, so this is kind of new to me. Trying to, all the piping on the bottom is a little different. Different layout. Now, when you get this combi boiler, the fire tube, it comes with the manifold. It comes with the valves for the shutoff valves for the hot or the, the supply and the return. But you have to supply the valves for the tankless right there in the middle. Also, it comes with... Uh, a magnetic filter which I'll have a video of that tomorrow that's gonna go over there magnetic filter and then I have a return coming across the bottom so this is a new fire tube boiler combi provides a little more uh, a little more uh, gallons per minute I, uh, I can't remember offhand how many gallons a minute but it's above the, the combi unit the previous combi unit the NCB I think yeah the NCB this provides more hot water gallons per minute all right I'll get another video tomorrow okay we are all done with this NFC-175, get the Navi clean filter. Zone panel, five zones. Set. 